Hi there. Hi. Hi, Matt. Devin, nice to meet welcome. You. Hi. How are you? Nice I know you, again. Harry. Yeah, nice what to see an you again. incredible place. Thank you. Welcome. It's amazing. We kind of we went down the long driveway and then all of a sudden it opens up and it was just and wow. You're here. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Maybe you're you welcome. can tell me a little bit. I've, I'm already seeing like this diamond reference and yes, a diamante so name. Yes, the name of the farm is Diamante Farms and uh, it comes from my dad's nickname was Diamonds. So okay. growing up in South Texas, Diamonds became Diamante, became Diamante Farms. So Amazing. Here we are. So this is our newest project and um, so we have a lot of the diamonds, kind of the logo and the um, the shape kind of popping up throughout Threaded the features. Throughout the yeah, property. exactly. Wow. But that was the that's a main statement. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, everything here is a statement, but I already saw that detail and I was like, okay, that's definitely worth yeah. bringing up. <laughs> Maybe you can tell me a little bit of history regarding the property because I know you guys already uh, are at another place, which is beautiful as well. Yes, yeah. So we have we originally we're still at our original farm that we bought when we first came to Wellington. Um, it was about 20 years ago, yes. actually, now. So we've been there for 20 years, and then we just outgrew. So we needed something new, something bigger, and more designed towards our business now. Yeah. So that's what we got. Absolutely. And how did you know the kind of style you wanted to go for? I mean, we're nearly in completion now. Yes. But at the very beginning, I imagine you had to kind of narrow that down. Yeah, well, most of the existing structure was already here. And we kind of redid and redeveloped and reimagined everything. So we had some like base bones to work with, and yeah. then we have a fantastic architect, Tassos. Yeah, she's a, t a phenomenal been... architect from Greenwich, Connecticut. Yeah, they really, you know, put the put the artistic and the and the but architectural together. The flavor. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, definitely. He spiced it up, but he also adds a lot of the functionality to it too. So because it, it is a beautiful barn, but it's definitely a working barn. Yeah. <laughs> so we added a couple of different things. So like. You'll see the main um, grooming and wash rack area and stuff when you walk in. That all kind of flows from the grooming to the tack stall to the laundry and um, the tack room and all that. And then I think a cool feature that we actually added was uh, the vet room. The vet, yeah, the veterinary, cl cool. like the clinician, like a clinic Oh, wow. Room. Oh, yeah. yeah, like a whole so little a vet whole, space. Yeah, so there's a room wow. that's completely air conditioned, climate controlled, and that you can completely um, shut it down and sanitize it. And um, yeah. it also, it can be used as a stall also if we needed it to. So if yeah. you have a horse going to competition or something like a summer store or something like that. Or even maybe like a quarantining be... place Ex if, exactly. if you need that. Yeah, God forbid, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, so it shuts off and it has uh, air conditioning, so it's always an option. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. and, they also, and they also have a, uh, a veterinarian and a farrier station yeah. outside the barn. Wow. So that, that heavy work and that, you know, uh, the, the farrier is kind of a messy, up, yeah. it's a messy process with the smoke and so it's all done outside the barn. So they'll okay. have their own space for that yes. too. And yeah, because otherwise the you'd be smoking over that. up the whole yeah. interior. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Well, they'll be parked out through here and then they're always in our space. So we give them their own space. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Well, it was lovely meeting you. I think Harry and I are going to go yeah, explore the inside <laughs> yes. and then we might catch you later. All right, All right. enjoy. Okay. Well, have you. a look around then. Thank you. Uh, good to see you. Wow, this is incredible. The size of it, like yes. the ceiling, the roof height. Wow, so where are we standing right now? We've just entered the barn. This is, this is the center of the whole, the whole facility. And uh, when when uh, when Devin and Terry bought bought the bought the property, this this was yeah. all open to the sky. Right, it was so just empty in the middle. There was wash bays here, but it was yeah. there was no roof. Oh, it, no roof. It was open. Yeah. So um, along with their architect, they wanted to create something a little different. So we closed it, put a roof over top with these skylights. Yeah. You know, and then this is this is the general wash bay area. Wow. In here. Amazing. So there'll be. Will there be like, how do the tie-ups work? Will there be like railings that come in through here? Yeah, there's, there's one over here. There'll be, there'll be, there'll be railings and, and, and areas to cross tie the yeah. horse. And you'll have four wash stations per pillar here. Wow, that's and incredible. Then, and then we have the, uh, the big ass fans the again. The big ass fans again. Yeah, to keep the, keep the air moving. And, and we got that. their trademark. That's, uh, the diamond the that we diamond, were talking about. The diamond, the logo that's near and dear to their heart. Absolutely. And I think one thing to note is the space feels very fresh, yes. very like modern and new and like you, the use of like the light woods and that kind of feeling I think really accentuates it. It feels, yeah, very, yeah, very feels contemporary. Very open, very contemporary, very airy. Yeah. Which is great for an area that you're going to be bathing the horses. That, Absolutely. That it creates a lot of moisture in South Florida. Yeah. Incredible. Awesome. And they also have a lot of LED lights. The lighting in here is just impeccable. Oh, is it, is it all like downlighting, like in the 
there's, wow. some, there's down lighting and there's also LED lights in this band. Yeah. That, that also. Oh, so it's like indirect light. Yes. Oh, yes. that's beautiful. Great, maybe you can take me through to the stables yeah. and we can have a look at the aisles. Sorry to interrupt, but if you're enjoying the content here on Horsewell TV, then become a member and get instant access to hundreds of videos. We cover a variety of topics and disciplines, all horse related. So if you're interested, join now and access all the playlists and all the videos straight away. How many stables are in the, there's two stable blocks. There's yes, like this side and that there's side. There's two sides, yes. And so how many stables are on the, on the I property? I think there's a total of about 35, 35 stalls. Okay. Yes. Wow. Very beautiful. I love that because sometimes with stables, the inside horses don't have a window. Yes. But these ones still have a window to the inside Absolutely. of the property. So they can still check it out and see some action Absolutely. and what's going on. And then these guys are looking out towards the outdoor. Towards the outdoor. The covered outdoor, which we'll go to uh, yeah. later, the yes. indoor. Yes, yep. Wow, okay, and amazing. This, the stalls came, uh, these are the barn walker stalls. Oh yeah, these are your ones. Yes, and okay. they all have, they, they have the bamboo, the bamboo on the bottom. Oh yeah. You know, all stainless steel. Wow. Stainless steel. That's quite nice with just this system yes. that you can open. You feel how easy that is? Yeah. Look how. Yeah. And oh, the, I love yeah, that. The quality is. Oh, and you've got all the rubber down? Yes. This can is, you stand on it? Yeah, bit? yeah. Oh, yeah. This has this. Oh yeah, this that's has nice. the, This is the Equitan stall cushion. And they, oh yeah, it's like a bit. Yes. Padded. And, and uh, they wanted it. They wanted a little more cushion. Yeah. Than our standard, uh, the way we do it. So we added about a two inches of of buffings rubber underneath here. Yeah. To give the horse a little more cushion. Okay. And they have the automatic water bowls. Yeah, in the I back. love these as well. These yes. look cool. Usually it's only like a thin little. Yes thing and this is like a whole system of its of its own exactly and what i also really like is that the stables through here are open with the bars so like yes. the horses can communicate with each yes. other as well which is nice i think that's always uh, important and the stables feel big yes they're 12 by 12. yeah and but it, i think also because the space is so airy and open and the ceilings are so high yes you get this very like open yeah. feeling and there were there's some rooms down there Maybe you can just briefly tell us what is in those uh, rooms this, over there. These are, uh, there's a feed room here and there's a laundry room there. We, okay. If you want to walk through it, we can. Yeah, yeah, we can have a look. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, the, and this is the feed room. I think, yeah, I think this is a, uh, a feed room here and, you know, wow. you know, match, you know, matching paneling on the wall here. Yeah, absolutely. All recessed LED lights. Wow, incredible. Can you imagine when this is all finished yeah, and all the details are in? That's gonna be incredible. And, and then, then we have behind a us here. We have a uh, laundry room here. Is probably the biggest laundry I've <laughs> ever seen in yeah. my whole life. Yes. <gasps> oh my God, look at that. So we have two stackables. Yeah. Uh, you know, washer on the bottom. It's a 35 pound machine with, with uh, the dryer on top. Yeah. And then we got two other stackables over here. Wow, incredible. This, and then you've got a bit of hip, a yes. working space. Yes. Oh, and you've got the... That's the drawing. Yeah, the rendering of the drawing. Wow, so this is what the outside will look like when a bit of the, the yes. landscaping and stuff is done. Yes. Wow, how fun is that? So we're making our way now through the breezeway and the stables and we're going to the back of the open room that we were just at. Yes. And what is the space in through here? Uh, this is going to be, uh, this is grooming here. Yeah, oh, all here is getting this ready, is, tacking this, up. Exactly. Okay. And then, and then the, we were just in the showers. Yeah, which are over there. And then in here is a, is a, is a really big tack room. Wow, I, ha I have to go in. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now this is a tack room. Look at this center island. Yes. The center island is bigger than most people's tack room. <laughs> that is incredible. And I love the wood paneling. The still wood like paneling, all, like, like clean for saddles. Yeah, be saddles and you know. And oh bridles. yeah, to stack them. Yeah, and it's almost like corridors. So you have like the space here, and then in the back. So is it going to be shelving? I as think well, it, I, or? I'm pretty sure this is all saddle and bridle hanging. Yeah, and then most of their uh, their clients are are competitors. Yeah, so they're going to be using those flexi lockers when they go to oh, horse. Oh, and they'll be here. All, yes, all mm -hmm. along the outside. And, and just look at the attention to detail. There's like yes. plugs ready to go. For every, for every for locker. All of them. Because all the lockers have uh, batteries in them for lights. Yeah. So they can keep their locker batteries fully charged when they're in here. Yeah, and I see that it's also an air conditioned space. Yes, all air conditioned space, yeah. yes. Wow, yeah. that is incredible. 
I've, I think this takes the biggest tack room I've ever seen. This gets the award for the, the biggest one. Yeah, it has, you know, it has all LED lighting, strip lighting. Yeah, and also all these windows going out. I think that's so important when you have these big buildings. The skylights, yes. Yeah, yes. Incredible. Well, this is like a building attached to the indoor. Yeah, this is what they call the casino. Wow. It's a two, it's a two story viewing. <laughs> Viewing, it's viewing bright. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. bright out here with the yes. sand and all its color. Yes. Okay, amazing. And what purpose does the casino hold? Uh, just they'll have parties in here, and you know, at different events, and uh, and you can also watch the riding. Viewing you know, into the indoor. Yes, it'll be as well. fully air conditioned, so in the summertime yeah. you can you take can the view. edge off. Yes, exactly. Okay. Wow. It looks. I mean, the ceiling height also in here looks <laughs> very high. Yes. Wow. Are we allowed to go? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Oh, this is incredible. Look at that view. And this is all going to be windows here? Yes. Wow. Yeah, we're finishing up all the wiring now. Yeah. And then we'll finish insulating the walls and hang the drywall. It's here. Yeah. And then this here will be all glass. Between here and here will be all glass. So this, this will all be air conditioned in here. Yeah. And there'll be a bar in a little in the kitchen here. Oh yeah, I already see kind of the shape taking place. With steps going to the second floor. Yeah. And then this will be all outside patio. Wow. With 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 a deck to the to the indoor arena. Amazing. And this is all concrete. This is not going anywhere. No. It's this not is going not going anywhere no. at all. Yes. Wow. Amazing. It's, it's hard to actually understand the size of it because everything here is so big. Yes. How big is the... This is, this is nine, uh, 90 feet wide by 220 Okay, yeah. In feet, yeah. Wow. So you can definitely have a jump in here. Yeah, and then we'll have, uh, we'll have a, a, the mirrors yeah. on, the, on the east wall there. Oh, yeah, I see the recessed space yes. already. And we're finishing, the, uh, we're finishing the kickboard. Yeah. And then uh, the LED lights we're finishing this week, finishing up the painting, and then we'll put the, the capillary equestrian, uh, the underfooting moisture oh, system. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, will be the last thing that we put in here. Wow. Okay. And when are you thinking the project will be finished by? Uh, May 1st. May 1st. May 1st is the scheduled move-in date. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, exciting. So, so you guys have a little bit of, of work to do, yeah, but I'm yeah. sure- we're counting down. You guys are, they're in good hands with you, <laughs> yeah. so it won't be a, a problem, I'm sure. And I think in, in the end, like the landscaping and stuff like that, that always takes a bit of time. Yes. Because it has to grow in and settle and stuff as well. But I mean, all the structures are pretty much there. Yeah, they're There's all pretty much, much there. There's not much more to it. Yeah, and the, and the, like the, the exterior windows and the glass come in in about two and a half weeks. Yeah. And then we'll be buttoning, buttoning that up on the casino side of this. Okay. We can walk inside and show you what it looks like. Yeah, maybe let's do that. Yeah. That would be quite cool. Excuse the noise, everyone, but we are at a building site. Exactly. We came out here because the stairs are not built yet to go upstairs. Yes. But we can see that second level from, from in here. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be the only second story viewing area in Wellington. Wow. So this cover is a, it's very unique. Yeah. And it's one of a kind. And it's going to be you know, very large, as you can see. Absolutely. And, and it'll, yeah. have, it'll have all uh, impact glass. Uh, okay. Hurricane rated and it'll all be air conditioned. Wow, incredible. But this, I hope this, I mean, it'll be difficult for people to understand size, but that alone is the size of like a house. Yeah, like absolutely. The, everything gets lost because everything is so big. Yeah, I think it's about uh, 3,500 square feet. Yeah. Just between the, the bottom floor and the, and the top floor. Yeah, no, it's absolutely incredible. And what color is the kick rail going to be when it's finished? Is actually, it this color? It's actually this color, yeah. Wow. That, it's all composite plastic. Also, we'll last. Yeah, we'll we'll both be gone by the time a it needs to be replaced. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we're finishing that up now, and it really came out wonderful because you hardly even see the screws. Yeah, the way no, it, absolutely. The way it, was, it, was it looks very clean, very slick. But you get a sense for how big this structure is absolutely when you're on the ground floor yeah and you've got the massive like three cupolas Mass as well massive cupolas yes and it, they're also uh it's like a vent on yes. them right so it's it still circulates the half air. of it's vented and half of it has impact glass on the top yeah wow okay incredible well i see there's an opening here so maybe we can squeeze out yes. there and you can show me a little bit of the outdoor facilities that are planned for this place 
Right, so we've just exited the indoor and this is the adjoining 10 acres that were purchased That's to add correct. on to the property. Yes, correct. And I see that there's a lot of trees here that have been kept. Well, that was part of the whole design from the owner, Terry Kane. She wanted to preserve a lot of the cypress trees yeah. and, and all these big trees. It was, it was very important for her to preserve the trees. Oh, I so love we, that. So we designed the whole site plan around keeping the trees. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's amazing. A lot of people would have just cleared the whole lot, which sometimes you have to do. Yeah. But I think if you have the opportunity, I mean, some of these trees are very old, so it's nice to, to keep them here. Yeah. And we had to also build a, a, a big uh, pond yeah. for dry retention that was deep. Yeah. And we and there was a fair amount of cypress trees that were in the way. Yeah. And she purposely replanted them and yeah. repurposed these massive cypress trees on the wow. property. Yeah, she did not want to just get rid of get rid of the trees. She wanted to preserve as much as she could. Amazing. And so on these 10 acres predominantly it's all pasture, so it's all fields? Yeah, on the on the far south of the property. There's going to be a, a future house yeah. for her daughter, uh, Devin yeah. and Kevin. And then, uh, and then to the east is, is the main driveway for the horse trailers and the trucks that are going to come in. Yeah. So that, that heavy traffic will come to the east. Yeah. It'll loop around to the front here, go out to the west and exit the property. And how about where we're standing here and in front of the indoor? There's going to be grass all here. Yeah. And then there'll, there'll be parking. This will be parking. Yeah. Over on this side. And then right here is going to be all the paddocks. Oh, OK. This is going to be all paddocks like where that machine is moving now. Yeah. OK, amazing. So that's probably nice to keep the trees because they're going to have a lot of shade yes. as well. And then we can, we're converting that, that building right there behind us. Yeah. It's going to be uh, groom's living quarters. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, OK. That's, that's going to be housing inside that building there. OK, I understand. And I see there's already like a walker that's uh, pretty much done, I would imagine. Yeah, the, yeah that's done. And that's uh, that was done by my other company, Barn Walkers. Yeah. So we put the walker in. It's a sky walker, so it's the, the motor is suspended inside up in the roof. Yeah. And then inside is an area for lunging in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. And then just behind that, is, which is where we entered through, is the uh, outdoor arena. Yeah, we have the outdoor arena, the all-weather outdoor to the west side. Yeah. And then this little building here is going to be for the farriers. Oh, yeah. That's, That's the, the outbuilding we were talking yes. about for and, these kind of they're jobs. Gonna, they're going to put a treadmill in there. Yeah. And then the, when the farriers come, they'll use that building. Oh, OK. Amazing. So that's this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then become a member where you can watch hundreds of videos like this, all horse related content, different disciplines, topics, and they're all right there for you to access straight away. So become a member and get full access to the content right now.